Hello, good afternoon out there. How are you all doing? I believe and hope that we are all blessed by God. And uh, this is a very nice day. Uh, it was sunny today. It was very nice. And uh, so I just want to share a message to so many parents out there, so many believers, that uh, because it has been uh, something real this season, this uh, new era. So many of us uh, as parents are not taking care of our children in, in times of leading them through the Bible by training them in the right way. Uh, I'm beginning to notice that so many believers uh, just think that when they say train up a child, they think that is to tell them things they want, if they want clothes, if they want shoes, um, phones, tablets, and all this stuff, whatever they ask for, food, you just give them. That's the right way to train up a child. Or something that when you send your children to school, um, going to school, graduate from school, yeah, you already train up your child. But I want to let you know something that if you as a, as a parent talking bad against someone in front of your children meaning you are actually giving that child an upper hand or giving that child an authorization that that person or that child don't have to give respect to that person you are talking bad in front of your children so doing this you are not training your child in the right way god wants us to train our own children the way god trained us if you go back to the old days whenever our parents want to talk to someone they do send us out from the premises in any time, like I can remember my days, when someone will come to visit my parents, we don't wait that my dad or my mom have to tell us to go away from the sitting room. Immediately the person come in, we stood up and we move straightly to our bedroom because this is time for adults to discuss. But these days, when someone visits uh, us as parents, we allow our children to be there, listening to what we are discussing, and also give them chance to intervene in a discussion of adults. That is unfair. We do talk, oh, that brother, you know, or that sister, he did this, he did that, and that is wrong, that is something he's not supposed to do, I'm angry with that person, that person is stupid uh, because he did that. No, in front of our kids, we are not supposed to do that. It is written in Proverbs 22, verse 6, in King James Version, he said, train up a child in the way he should go we are talking about he or she right here we are not right uh, directly pointing our fingers on only the he but we are talking about the he or she and when he or she grow old he will not depart from it so the bible already said it that we should train up a child you don't expect to talk bad against someone in front of your child and the next day your child is not respecting that person no more greeting that person as an adult then do you think you are training that child in the right way in the right form but try to think about this you think that you are training your child to the university to study law to study uh, to become a doctor to study to become whatever you want your child to be or whatever the child desire to be but after training this child up to the university and this child graduate from the university 
That child will actually look for a job, right? Searching for a job and suddenly walk into the office of that person that he or she was not greeting some years back. How does that look? Do you think that that person will give your child a job? After the disrespect, your child has already disrespected that person for years? No. That will be the payback time. You get that? That is the reason why we have to train a child. We have to train our children that they will respect each and everyone, old and young, big and small. Our child have to respect people. Our child have to see people, greet them, not waiting that Edda have to greet them first. That is not good. We are supposed to train up our child in the right way. That God will bless our children. Wherever our children go, there will be blessing waiting for our children because of what we already invest in them. So I just like to share this message because I see this thing going round, round, all over in our youth, in our children these days. It is not good. It all depends on us, parents. Because we already made that mistake. We already put that thing in them. And that's why they are doing that. So please, after hearing this message, call your children. Talk to them. Question them. And give them the right advice. Give them the right things to do that will better their future. Because they are destroying their future right present at this time. Because when they round up their school, you think you are sponsoring them to become directors and managers. They have to study first of all. They have to work on that person before they become that manager. And suddenly, brother or sister, parents, I'm talking to the both of you. When they grow up, regret to that office, they will find the person they were insulting at years back, disrespecting years back, and at the end, that person will push them out. So that investment you already invest in your children will be lost, zero. So the right thing to do now is to correct them at this early age so that their future will be a bright future. I hope this message will get into you, understand better, and know that I am talking to you, you right there, dad and mom, you. I'm talking to you both. Train your children in the right way that God ordained us as parents to train them. God bless you and I hope you enjoy this message and I hope that this message will bring something good to you parents and to your children. May God bless you. Amen.